Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Monday of Thanksgiving week. Traditionally, uh, a slow week in FX. Although I believe it was uh, 2000 when uh, f Thanksgiving Friday was a massacre in dollar yen. Might have been 2001. Down through 102.50. Um, it's a, a very memorable day for us here. Um, but normally it's pretty quiet. Certainly, um, if there's any work to be done, it's Monday, Tuesday that they get it done. And then Wednesday is to see if it sticks. And then Thursday, Friday is just thinness. So you have to be careful uh, about thin markets at the end of the week. Let's take a look at what happened overnight. Cable uh, went through 133.12, totally uh, clean. Heisman 31 uh, tested back to 13 at one point. Uh, this was at the Tokyo Open. So a lot of Europeans won't have this on. Um, and so perhaps we're going to see some cable buying at the uh, 8 a.m. London Open. Let's look out for that. Euro, 25-point range, sort of 50, 75. Here we are at 76. Not doing too much. Mildly risk on, I guess you could, you you would have to call it um, out here. Dollar a little bit lower. Stocks a little bit higher. Um, Dollar Swiss looks like she wants to head south. Over the borderline. I think that was Madonna. Sometime in the 90s. Um, 90s, an interesting little point here. Dollar Swiss, 90 is interesting. Euro dollar, also 90 is interesting. N -n 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 90. 118, 90, been a bunch of highs. Someone's selling up there. Do we punch through that today? Maybe. <laughs> sort of looks like it. Dollar yen also. Uh, she wants to go lower. 70 is the kind of point of no return in dollar yen. Um, nobody has this dollar yen on. Everyone got spooked on this move up to 104.22. Uh, sorry. Everyone got spooked on this move up to 105.60. This move pandemic uh, vaccine move so no one's got this dollar yen this looks fairly interesting to me uh, downside dollar yen you can see a theme here today the market just seems to want to sell dollars Goldman came out reiterating their bullshit uh, research uh, which was a big dollar sell some of it makes some sense to me some of it doesn't but it doesn't even matter um, the flock follows Goldman so you know, this is going to be frontal lobe today just because they printed that. I mean, sometimes foreign exchange is just that orangutan simple, right? What's on the frontal lobe? Uh, what feels good today? This is what we're going to do. Dollar max and dollar rand <clears throat> continue on the downside, yet more slowly. Um, inflows into EM is also a trend. This is a theme. Um, I'm not getting in front of this freight train, but we are looking for the turn. It's now getting kind of silly. Um, although dollar max can go a lot lower, where dollars are, um, we'll have trouble going lower, more trouble going lower. Here's our pal, the Australian dollar. Um, she got up to 27. 24 was the high on um, Friday. 40 is the bingo number, right? 73.40. Talking about that forever. Um, you can see what, what might happen here in Euro Aussie. 161.50 is probably going to be the 70. 340 point Euro Aussie is not in play um, because if 
if Aussie's going 7340, there's a good chance that Euro's up through 11890 and no one's really looking at Euro Aussie, but technically speaking, 160, 150 is interesting. And then the, the sort of bottom of this range here was 16050. And that is just technically incredibly significant. So gotta watch that. If you're a Euro Aussie trader, uh, which we are not right now, um, but if you are, these are important levels. Aussie yen doing nothing. Cross yen, you can see, is not really doing anything. It's a push and pull. Swiss yen is its own animal. We won't even get into that today. Cad yen, um, crude heading to 43 bucks. You would argue that this should be a touch higher, um, but it's not. It's actually not doing anything. So let's not uh, tie our tits in a tizzy. Euro sterling. We saw left hand side action. Ever since 89.50 broke, it's just gone left easier. Uh, this is a Brexit trade. This should continue. Next big, 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 big point, 88.60. Um, selling high ones in 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 euro sterling, I think pays. So that's that's a strategy I think you can just continue to do. Um, we got to be careful of news, but uh, we like Euro sterling lower. This is like a slow train, whereas the cable is more of a Japanese high speed train or a Chinese maglev. Zzz. This is uh, more of the maglev. But shit, if those, high speed, if those high speed trains wreck, it's really ugly. That's what cable is. Uh, you're one common away from. Uh, Having some sort of pulp fictiony moment. Anyway, let's talk gold. It's been annoying. Everyone is talking about gold, but nothing. No one's really doing anything. Um, people that I never see talk about gold are talking about gold and talking about this 1850 point. A lot of them are real money people, so they're basically just saying you should buy in front of 1850. Um, this is interesting to me only because, great, there's going to be more buyers in front of 1850, which means if 1850 goes, which I think it will, um, it'll be a just a cacophony of forced selling, um, and in that sense, there'll be some money to be made. Um, will it be short-term? Will it be short-lived? I'm sort of beginning to think so, so we're kind of like, wow, 1850 breaks, it goes to 1810. Uh, very very quickly um, maybe 1780 very very quickly but then we get this big tail reversal bar um, this is kind of a scenario I have in my head um, using my imagination so anyway we wait right we're, we're waiting we're not we're not trying to be first in this we're just trying to make money. We will get long up through 1900, um, but we will also get short through 1850. Gold's been annoying. Uh, ES, get a little bit of a zipper there at the end of the day down to 40. This is now an important point, technically 3540. Um, but here we are back at 66. Are we gonna get back through 82 and have one more squeeze higher? Kind of looks like it. Makes no sense to me at all. It's so much, um, I would say, bad news, uh, virus wise. If you believe that Europe is sort of three to six weeks ahead of the, um, the European story is three to six weeks ahead of the American story, which has been the case for the whole year. Um, we're like apoplectic in fear here, massive lockdown. Someone told me this weekend that 30% of the Swiss population is tested positive. That same person told me that that means we're close to herd immunity, uh, which I don't even know what the hell that means. Uh, I just know that people here are shitting themselves. There were police on the street in Geneva uh, asking people to put their masks on. 
um, and don't get you know for those of you who don't live here the police here are nice they're friendly um, they're part of the community it was a gentle thing they're just like come on man put your mask on um, but that was weird uh, I was out on my bike watching all of this um, so I don't know why stocks are holding up but they are and you know price will tell us what to do below 3540 I'll start and the, the, the bears in, in my soul will wake up a bit but until then the bulls seem to have control here and um, we'll just wait for price to tell us let's take a look at ZB this is another like insane chart we're waiting for this line up here, 174, sort of 2530, to, to reestablish ZB shorts. Anyway, I've said enough. Uh, watching these same levels that we were watching on Friday, 118.90, in Aussie, 103.70 in uh, dollar yen. Uh, Kiwi is through. Cable is through. Dollar cat's doing nothing. Dollar EM is left hand side today, but. Um, we're not really playing in that sandbox, so we take what the market will give today. Volatility is on its knees, people. Do not try and take blood from a stone. Um, it is Thanksgiving week. All right, I've said enough. Listen, uh, good luck out there, people. I believe PMIs are out today. Uh, where is this thing? Yeah, PMIs, flash PMIs in Europe, UK. So this could have an effect on uh, on Euro. Keep an eye out on that. Uh, PMIs out might affect Euro. Anyway, I've definitely said enough for a Monday morning, uh, Thanksgiving week. Good luck out there, people. Try and make some dough, and uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.